Hello, I'm John Idelson, Professor Emeritus at California State University and Acting Executive Director of the California Community College Online Education Initiative. But I'm here today really in my role as a member of the nominating committee for Q. And we have a chance to talk with the nominees for the Q board. So let's start right away. Uh, so Ray, can you tell us your name, your title? And first, we'd like to know what was your first Q experience? Sure. Um, again, my name is Raymond Chavez. I'm currently the Director of Instructional Technology Outreach at the Los Angeles County Office of Education. It, it was my pleasure to get introduced to Q way back in 1986. Actually, I went to my few, first Q conference in the fall of 1986, and, and I tell you, it was just eye-opening uh, to be able to collaborate and see all the different uh, examples of how people were integrating technology at that time and, and mostly computers but it was also just a great experience because at that time Q conferences were held at a high school I went to Independence High School and I just got a great a great opportunity to network with a great bunch of educators who were interested in and really excited about integrating technology from there I actually uh, the next year I presented uh, my second year um, and I have to tell you kind of date myself here I presented on an Apple II uh, computer and I in the title of my presentation is what makes database database is such a hit. So that gives you an idea of the kinds of things we were talking about um, back then, was 25 years or so ago, and uh, it's always been exciting and, and a great pleasure to be uh, a part of Q. That's interesting. I remember my first Q conference in high schools too. We, we, we've come a long way. All right. Um, you, you told us a little bit about yourself, but can you tell us a little bit more and in particular, why do you want to serve on the Q Board of Directors? Well, you know, I've been a teacher in the classroom, and actually uh, my first experience with technology was um, actually they dropped one of the Apple IIEs into my uh, classroom and, and said, you know, well, here's a computer for you. Go ahead and do something with it. And I thought, okay, what should I do with that? But actually it led uh, to a great interest and an opportunity to um, explore the use of computers in, in classroom instruction and also later to a, a job as a grant. Um, teacher uh, for a grant at that time which was seeking to integrate computer technology and video technology into classroom instruction but you know with those experiences it kind of led me on to uh, more professional development and also some leadership roles within the area of instructional technology and given that leadership role in instructional technology and being part of some statewide projects has really led me to believe that Q is a really an important organization, not only for networking, but for the work that we're trying to do in terms of moving technology forward in our schools. Um, Q is a great organization, and I've always wanted to be part of an organization that's promoting the kinds of things that I believe in, in terms of technology being a powerful tool for teaching and learning. Great. Well, now what I'd like to ask you is, what do you see as some of the greatest challenges we have in education now, and, and what can Q and Q leadership do to help? Well, certainly we're still uh, moving forward, uh, trying to address issues that have been um, common to us um, through the years in terms of student achievement and, and really addressing that achievement gap. I think education is still facing the, those, those challenges and certainly the funding challenges uh, for schools and, and supporting our educational system, even though it's gotten a little bit better <laughs> this last year. But I think uh, besides the challenges um, that uh, are come along with funding and, and, and student achievement, you know, we're embarking on this new course called Common Core Standards and, and you know, computer-based assessment. So I think we're going to find educators um, struggling somewhat uh, to make the changes, both from an instructional standpoint and also from an infrastructure standpoint, to accommodate uh, what we want to try to do with these new assessments and implementing these new standards. I think Q can be a great organization for advocating uh, not only for uh, students, but also for teachers and in the entire educational community in terms of not only for funding, but policy level of things that will help us, enable us to get us, you know, the tools and the resources that we need for our schools. 
Also, I think Q is a great organization for providing resources for educators, uh, not only professional development, but a number of online resources. And, and, and you just see the, the kinds of newsletters and the things that we've been posting online just gives educators an opportunity to really learn more about the kinds of tools that can really help our kids in this 21st century. And I think Q can be a great organization for, for facilitating a conversation at the leadership level, Sacramento. I think we've been an organization that has really uh, brought to the forefront some of the um, possibilities with technology and how it can help our, our K-12 and our higher ed um, um, environments in terms of a powerful tool for teaching and learning. So I think it could be advocating. I think it could be providing resources. I think it could be facilitating discussions at the leadership level and really be an important organization for moving California forward uh, in this 21st century. Well, great challenges, but also great opportunities. So absolutely. Th thank you so much for taking this time. And first, I want to thank you from the nominating committee and the, the Q membership for stepping up to the plate to run for a, a board leadership position. And it's for my those pleasure. of you who are watching, be sure to vote. Thank you so much, Ray. You're welcome. <laughs>